what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to be discussing uh where i think the next phase or the next step we should take uh moving forward with the jeepers creepers franchise and how we should um go about getting our creeper back on the big screen and getting a decent film made with a decent budget a well-written script um two talented writer and writers or one talented writer one talented director a duo that i've um been thinking about for the past week or so i think they could bring something very unique to this franchise i'll get into who i think those in who the two individuals are who should helm and write the next jeepers creepers film uh are when i get to that during this video but as of right now uh i want to also discuss like the studio who should take over the rights from victor salva now as of right now as it sits or as it stands we may not ever get another jeepers creepers film as long as victor salva holds the rights now i know uh, i just previously made a video regarding yes of a, a, a possibility of victor salva realistically might just want to be keeping this on the low and he has plans to release a fourth film with some type of anniversary idea in mind for jeepers creepers 4 coming out on the 20th anniversary of the original film uh but also just there's just too many things that are there's just too many different things that i i get tossed around and things that i'm being told from people who have connections with salvin and people who actually worked on the franchise who are teasing uh a fourth movie is still coming uh maybe they haven't talked to salvin in a while so that's why they're still under that impression maybe victor salva is just constantly changing his mind maybe this is all just a big game just to keep everything on the down low so that way we don't have the same backlash that the third film faced um but going forward, Victor Salva honestly would have to be the one to give up the rights. He owns this property. This is his This is his creation. It's up to him if he wants to keep it. If he chooses to keep it, that's up to him. Now, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get upset at him for that. I, I'm just gonna be upset that he has he's created something that realistically could thrive uh, if he was willing to put his art put, seeing his art thrive over over the ownership of the art. Um, because you, you're still the one who created it. It might not be in your hands anymore, but you're still the one who put it out here. You're still the one who got it on the map. You're the one who has paved the way for what could be coming next. Um, I feel like if he were to sell the rights, it should go to either A24 or Spyglass Media. A24, I believe, would probably be the most... Uh, probably not even a24 a24 has been putting out a lot of good films over the last couple of years hereditary midsummer uh several things that they've been putting out over the last couple of years uh the witch they've been very prominent in the horror genre i feel like uh they put out more artsy style films though so i don't think necessarily that jeepers creepers 4 will become a type of art house type of deal uh but i feel like the the sim the imagery uh would definitely be heightened i feel like imagery would definitely become a big component if a24 had their had their hands on a jeepers creepers film uh what the studio wanted to see from a film um and then i also think that if if it wasn't a24 spyglass media spyglass media they uh, i think they were around several years ago in the early to mid 2000s they went away now they're back they're the ones behind the upcoming screen film whatever that's going to be we still do not know what that is going to be they're also working on new hellraiser projects uh they have the rights to scream and hellraiser they have the rights to both of those two both of those two uh big franchises i feel like if they got their hands on uh jeepers creepers that would kind of bring some more attention to this studio since they're kind of trying to be like a i think i feel like what they're trying to do is be uh, another horror studio they're trying to have like a resurgence and produce a lot of horror films they want to be like the next blumhouse um blumhouse would be if blumhouse got their hands on jeepers creepers that'd be nice as well but i kind of feel like we need to share the wealth blumhouse already has halloween blumhouse they have enough they have michael myers that's <laughs> that's way bigger than jeepers creepers un unfortunately michael myers is, is a bigger icon than jeepers creepers um i don't feel like blumhouse needs anything anything more than michael myers i would have jeepers creepers go to a24 or spyglass media uh for studios who would take ownership of the rights of the property uh and then the, the two individuals who i would like to see work on the fourth film and bringing back gina phyllis bringing back jonathan breck bringing back as many individuals as we know who are from the original movies um i feel like they might be a little bit hesitant come going into another movie without salve at the helm but i would like to see a, a film written by lee wanell and then a, and then i would like to see the fourth movie directed by james wan um i feel like those two could be a 
a breath of fresh air for this series. Uh, we know they can work well together. They've been they've been well recognized since they both popped up on the on the scene together with their um, creation of the Saw film, the original Saw film that came out in 2004. They both had very successful careers in the horror genre. Uh, they put out several hits: Dead Silence, uh, Insidious, Insidious Chapter Three. Uh, Lee Wanell recently put out uh, uh, over the last couple of years Upgrade. He had the recent, the most recent one comes to mind would be uh, The Invisible Man, which is actually a very well made, awesome film. Um, I feel like those two, when they get together, they they put on magic. When they when they get together, they are like a dynamic duo when it comes to putting on a horror film. And I would like to see what they could bring uh, to the Jeepers Creeper series. I feel like they would work well together. Uh, continuing on a legacy of a character uh, that that was started nearly 20 years ago, and I feel like for it to be a monster film, I feel like they would have a little bit of fun here with this. They would have like new new ground, so to speak. Not necessarily they're more because they're they're accustomed to putting out these supernatural horror films, Dead Silence, um, Insidious, uh, James Wan, The Conjuring. I, I just feel like they they'd have a a lot of fun putting out a Jeepers Creepers film. I feel like we get that we'd get a script that we know we deserve. Um, we'd get a proper film. Yes, it would be different because it's not going to be from Salva. No influence from Fra Francis Ford Co Coppola, unfortunately. But we would have a film that I feel like we could be proud of. A movie that is well written. A movie that is done by two individuals who love the genre. Probably two individuals who are a fan of the of the Jeepers Creepers films. Um, I don't think there's been many directors coming out saying they're fans of these series or of these films, probably just because they don't want to face any backlash because of Victor Salva. But I feel like if you had to ask two individuals, James Wan and Lee Wanell, I wouldn't be surprised if they were fans of this series. Um, and I feel like they would jump on board at the shot to continue the legacy that Victor Salva started all those years ago. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And also down in the comment section below, I will have the link to the Facebook group pinned in the comment section. Join that Facebook group to stay updated and connect with everybody who subscribes to this channel. Uh, post any recommendations. Just talk horror in general. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's a horror based Facebook group. You can also uh, stay in contact with uh, Stacy Langingham, the individual who is uh, feeding me all my information regarding Jeepers Creepers. Now uh, he has been for quite some time, honestly. But yes, you can join that group and ask him any questions in that announcement post that he's tagged in if you want some updates on the series. But all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.